currently out in Samarin, Slovakia, ahead of the championship race hosted by Challenge Family this weekend. Last year, we saw Sebastian Keeney, Lionel Sanders and Lucy Charles Barkley absolutely laying the hammer down here. It is such a unique race and this year looks to be yet another epic battle. So to get you guys ready for the race, here is the championship in numbers. Let's start off by talking about the location of this race because it's really quite different from most events. Now, as I mentioned already, it takes place in the small town of Samarin, which is just a 20 minute drive out of Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, and we're passing through that right now. Now, interestingly, this fairly unassuming town has over 800 years worth of history and a really rich tradition of sport. However, when you're passing through it in the car, it would be very easy just to pass through without taking a second glance. But down one of the small side streets, there's something really quite special. The X-Bionic Sphere. This one million meter square multi-purpose complex plays host to the championship. Now, unfortunately, we're here on a pretty dreary day, but in previous years, it's been absolutely glorious. But that aside, you have honestly got to see this place. I have never been anywhere like it before. It offers facilities, professional facilities, for 27 different Olympic sports. We have one equestrian center, one 25 meter pool, three children pools, four water slides, why not, hey? One 50 meter pool, one volleyball center, one eight lane track and athletic stadium, one FIFA accredited football stadium, one four lane warm up track, one gymnastics hall, one gym over three floors. Lucy's there. No biggie. Four restaurants and two bars. One cinema. 12 conference rooms. Oh, and not forgetting 222 hotel rooms. Whew. Now, part of the reason for the hype around this event is due to the field that it attracts year upon year. And there's a good reason for this because there is a minimum of 150,000 euros on offer as a prize purse to those professional athletes. The winner of the men's and the women's field would take home 30,000 euros. Second place would take home 15,000 euros. Third place would take home 8,000 euros, paying all the way down to 10th place of 1,000 euros. And this year we've got quite the line that we've got entries from over 60 of the best professionals from around the world and some of those standout names include last year's runner-up Sebastian Keenley, Ben Canute, Andy Dreitz, Emma Pallant, Radka Kardafel and of course 2017 and 2018 winner Lucy Charles Barkley. Now in terms of the course itself it is fast. Lionel Sanders holds the men's course record in a time of three hours 40 minutes and three seconds, while Lucy Charles holds the women's course record in a time of four hours, six minutes and 10 seconds. Now for the swim last year, it actually ended up being a non-wetsuit swim, resulting in slightly slower swim times, but due to the weather this year, we're probably predicting it's going to be a wetsuit swim as it was back in 2017, when Richard Varga posted the men's swim course record in an impressive time of 21 minutes and 31 seconds, despite the currents of the river. On to the bike, it is a pancake flat one lap course taking in just 70 meters of elevation change over the 90 kilometers, allowing the athletes to really lay the power down on the smooth and straight roads. And it was back in 2017 that Kim Morrison posted the women's bike course record, a time of two hours, 12 minutes and eight seconds, whilst Lionel Sanders went on to post the men's course record of one hour, 56 minutes and four seconds. And finally, the run is a three lap course weaving its way around the X Bionic Sphere with three or four obvious dead turns per lap. And it was Adam Bowden that posted a ridiculous split of 109. 54 to break the male run course record here last year. Annie Haug posted a 115.59 for the female run course record. And in case you lose track of how far you've been, they have five kilometer markers for the bike and one kilometer markers for the run. In all there, 823 registered entrants for the championship middle distance event taking place on Sunday with 
many amateur athletes traveling far and wide for this event also. Now this year, Challenge have actually put on five side events that are taking place on the Saturday, the day before the middle distance event. We've got the Triathlon, which is a 300 meter swim, a 13 kilometer bike, and a 3K run. We also have an Olympic distance race with a corporate race on the side of that. We also have an Olympic distance relay, again with a corporate race on the side, a sprint distance, and also a load of running races for the kids for all ages. Well, there you have it, the championship in numbers. So do make sure you tune in this weekend on the Sunday at 9 a.m. Central European time for a true spectacle. And I challenge host a great live feed that you'll be able to find on the championship website. If you liked today's video, please do hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from GTN and all our other videos, you can click on the globe and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to see a little bit more from one of the key players for the race this weekend, we have a great video of Lucy Charles and some of her swim tips. You can see that by clicking just down here. If you'd like to see a little bit more on the Challenge family and one of their other races, Challenge Rot in Numbers, then you can see that video by clicking just down here.